Let's examine the boxes submenu. But first, let's talk about what a box really is. A box can be and do many different things, but in the end, a box is just a piece of code. It's a little program. The good news is you don't need to know anything about making a box. All you need to know is how to use them. And to show how simple that is, let's go through the process with a quick demonstration. You have downloaded a box and you know where it is. It might be on your desktop, for example. For our demonstration, we'll use the Tweet button, a box available from DIY Themes. So let's get that going. First, we need to upload the box to our website. To do that, we are logged in and we are on the Boxes submenu within Thesis Admin. We're already there, so click on Manage Boxes, and then we click on Upload Box, like so. Click Browse and locate your box file. In this example, our file is named Thesis Tweet Button Zip. Click Open, followed by Add Box. We wait for a moment, and once box installation is successful, click OK, and your box is visible. To enable this box, click the checkbox and then click on Save Boxes. Now, boxes can do many things. In some cases, we'd be done right here. But the box we've chosen has configuration options, so we'll explore those before we conclude. Under the Boxes submenu, we now have a new menu item, Tweet Button. Let's click that. And here are the options for this box. We have uh, different button styles to choose among. You'd want to enter your uh, Twitter name and so on. The options here are deliberately self-explanatory. Be sure to save when you're done. So that's that. Boxes are easy to download, easy to install, and as you've seen here, even the ones that allow for more complex interactions and configuration are really quite simple to control.